welcome to the next tutorial. You know, today's tutorial is actually coming from a couple of young ladies that are in my morning program that I was surprised at what they came up with, and that was cake. Not just any cake, what we like to call three-tiered cake. It's up here. There it is. Check it out. And essentially, it is cake, but it looks pretty like a wedding cake or something like that. So besides cake which is you know awesome they added some things that i was very impressed with very impressed i was i was just surprised at what they did so we're going to start off with a cylinder now the dimensions do not matter so don't worry about that i have it at 40 by 40. it doesn't really have to be that big 10 is the height that's great i'm going to duplicate this and then move it up and then i'm going to just shrink it down <clears throat> now, I have this in the beginner uh, playlist because this is pretty basic, but there are some things in here that you need to know how to do. And duplicates one of them, obviously. I'm going to select both of them. You see how I click and drag over both of them, then I want to align them. Click here and there. Great, they're aligned. I'm going to add one more to this. And then... I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to, you know, shrink it down. Maybe a little bit more. Again, the dimensions do not matter. You just want it to look like a cake. That's the idea. And since I don't think it's perfectly aligned, I'm going to again click and drag, select everything here. Then I click the align section. I'm going to click this one so it's aligned in that direction. And then click this one because I want it to be aligned in that direction. All right, so kind of looks like a cake, but not really. So I'm gonna make this a little bit taller, much better. This one a little bit taller, I like that. All right, that is very cake-like, but we're not done, we're not done. See, what these ladies did was kind of impressive because of this part right here. They added text. Now, when I do a search for text, these options come up. You see how it's bent a little bit? That's what I want to practice right here. So I clicked on the green one. I'm going to rotate it so I can see it facing me. And what they did with theirs was that they changed it to the birthday person. Birthday, they made this for someone's birthday. So let's just put somebody's name, Bob. <clears throat> Bob, I hope it's your birthday today. If it is, congratulations. I'm going to shrink this down and you see how it's curved? Well, you can change the curvature. You can change the angle here. So let's go ahead. And they call it the text gap. You see that? So now I'm going to rotate it. Put Bob on the side. Again, rotate it. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Shift. I'm going to hold the Shift button while I move this down. Then forward a little bit. Do you see how it's a little bit off? And let's see. Oh, I like that. The thickness will help you with that. Now, it moves a lot when I move the arrow keys. And if you, in case you're wondering how I did that, it's the arrow keys. So to make it move less, I'm just going to change that to one millimeter. And again, you can change that. I'm going to change it so it looks better. I'm going to change actually the cake to make that letter look better. Let me actually, before I do that, let me try it with this text over here. This is the purple one. And let's see how, if I have more control on this one. Uh, let's put uh, Bob and uh, Carl. All right, Carl, that's kind of, whoa, I've never seen that before. Okay, but again, let's play with it. But that's way too big. Let me make it go lower here. As you can see, let's get a view from the top and let's center that. The curve is kind of tight so let's change what they call the arc here whoa that's going all the way around interesting text height is going up you can't tell doesn't really matter um inner diameter oh there's the one that's the one we want all right let's make it smaller again i'm going to hit shift let's see how much control we have over this we have that all right, that's pretty good. If I do this, you see how it starts to 
take the shape of the cake. I'm going to get rid of this one down here, but you have more options now, right? So I'm going to click here. I'm going to move it down. Then I'm going to move it forward with the arrow keys. I'm not sure if you can hear my arrows moving up. So now inner diameter, I'm going to play with that a little bit. Nice. Whoa, I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to move this down. Because now that I see what I can do, I want to put it on the cake in what would be considered a normal size display on the cake. All right. Now, very important, I see a lot of students printing in my classroom and they don't ever, well, very few of them actually check to see if what they're printing is on the actual object. In fact, something like this, it's very possible that the, the two layers aren't even touching. So if you zoom in very carefully and you say, oh, look, yep, they are touching. Let's look at this one over here. Let's see if we can zoom in. By the way, wherever you point the mouse, that's where it's going to zoom in. And I'm going to move it a little bit with by right clicking. All right, those things are definitely connected. So I don't have to worry about that. Let's make Carl a little smaller. And maybe curve him out a little bit. I think we're good here. No, we're not. So let's stretch him out a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna, so here's the thing. Right there, it's curving too much, so I'm going to expand. And I think I expanded too much, so I'm gonna change it this way. Now, I'm going to pull it out a little bit. So you see how you still have to play with the settings a little bit to get the name just coming out of the cake. Let's see what I can do here. All right. So there's Carl. Let's move him down a little bit. It's sticking out over here. Or it's actually going into the cake over here. So I'm going to change the dimensions a little bit. A little bit more. Actually, I don't think I should be changing this one here. Again, when you're doing this, you have control over a lot of the aspects. There you go. And again, I'm just playing with this to see what it does. I kind of like it. All right. I don't like that the C is coming out over here, though, or going into the, into the cake. But I think I can fix that with the letters, the thickness of the letters. Okay, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. So I have to keep on playing with these settings here. And as you can see, it's not actually touching. So I'm going to move this a little bit over here and a little bit there. And I'm going to be happy with that. Maybe. I don't know. But here's what I do know. I'm going to decorate this a little bit more. So let's put something on here that's a little more decorative. I don't know. Let's say uh, rose. Do we have roses in here? I don't think those are roses. How about a flower? Can we put a flower on here? Those look like flowers. So here we go. We can put a flower on there. I know some of you are thinking, maybe you don't like flowers on your cake. Pretend it's for someone else. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever seen a cake that's been very decorated, but they put flowers on these things, and it's crazy the amount of work that goes into these cakes. I'm just move it over a little bit. Now, the students, the one, and I, I'll show you a picture of what um, the students had, but they, they had it decorated. It was very pretty. In fact, I'll try to duplicate one of the things that they put on here. And it would be nice, too. Let's put a, something on top here. Do you think that would work? Whoa, that thing is huge. Sure, why not? Let's put it at 40, 90, 90 degrees, and let's shrink this and raise it up, move it over. 
Now I have a feeling this is not touching the top. So again, very important that you check. It is hovering over the cake. Always be checking people. There it is. It's now sinking into here. Very nice. Now what another thing that these students did is that they put some numbers on here. So let's say they're celebrating uh, their 13th birthday. Oops, let's go back and put 13 and then I'm not sure if you notice, but if you click on the text and try to d delete it, it stays, it says the word text still. So I mean, that's weird. Anyways, they added a number and rotate 90 again. Whoa, that's huge. So let's put it right around here. Again, let's check to see if it's actually touching it. Is it? No, it is not touching. It's hovering over. It is a floating cake. Let's move it over. Let's move the flower over. Let me put this here. All right, 13. This person is officially a teenager. Congrats, you've survived. All right, so if you have the time, I totally recommend you decorate your cake because this would be an awesome gift for someone that a uh, family member or friend and say, hey, I made this cake just for you. And then you give them this and let them know it's not real because you don't want them to bite into it. But don't forget, if you're putting a number, there's a very good chance you're going to need to add some supports. So don't forget to add that when you're printing. And let's see some cake. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see some cake that's highly decorated because mine, unfortunately, it's a little sad, but I think you can do a lot better. So here you can have your cake, but don't eat it too. Have a good one. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications and do all the things that people do on YouTube.